well, a piece that I really like is games theory, psychological games. And I know it's quite yeah. a sort of, in some ways, quite a basic theory, but also it's such a useful piece, I think, in, in every bit of my work. Could you tell me a bit more about that? Yes, yeah, certainly. Um, so the concept of psychological games was developed originally by Byrne. Um, and it's about repetitive patterns that we get into with people that have a, a sort of, yeah, a, a pattern to them. And one of the bits that I really like is, is Steve Cartman's drama triangle. So the drama triangle with the three different positions on it, the persecutor, the rescuer and the victim. And how we sort of unconsciously gravitate towards people that will play the other side of the game. So when we're in a game, we're, we're on one of those three positions on the drama triangle. And then we play out that game, and at some point there's a sort of switch, there's a moment of, of surprise, and then both people go away reinforcing a sort of negative, um, scripty view of the world or them, themselves and other people. And um, I find that concept so, so useful in my work. Mm. And, and how do you use it in your work? Could you give me an example of how you use it in your work? Yeah, certainly. So, um, as I said, I use it in every area of my work, really, in my client work, in my training, in my supervision, um, all sorts of, of, of different areas. But if I think of an example of when I've actually used it, I was working with um, a woman who was giving out a lot in her life so she was doing a lot for other people and not really taking care of her own needs and was really quite tired and stressed and couldn't understand why people were not appreciating the amount of effort that she was putting into a lot of a lot of different things in her life so um, one of the things that I did with her then was I was I drew up the drama triangle and that's what I often do with people is just explain that very simple but as I said quite profound bit of theory and helped her to, to facilitated her really in thinking about okay so if this is a game what is the game that she's playing um, and it was so useful for her to understand the concept of rescuing because what I think what was happening is that she that was her general pattern, was to rescue in the world. And when it didn't work, what she would do is do more rescuing to, to try and get the other person to, yeah, to appreciate it or um, to feel okay or to be happy in the world. And, and once she realized, oh, actually, by doing that, it actually disempowers people. Um, and it's not useful to other people and, of course, not useful to her just with that sort of understanding then, she was able then to, to set some clear boundaries and to do things differently. So for me, I think it's about helping people to build their awareness. And once they have that sort of new narrative of what's going on, then it gives them choices about, oh, I, actually I can, I can do that differently. Um, and of course it's important to take care of what the, what the script payoff is and what people's investment is in it as well, but also just that, that awareness is so useful. So.